Shri uh, Ranjit Reddy ji. For giving me a chance to speak on the taxation loss amendment, which are to replace the ordinance presented by the government in this September. As you know, the chairperson, very rarely we come across such incidences wherein the taxation laws are am amended. But the finance minister, I know, she is being forced and necessitated because the economy is going through a very turbulent phase. As we know, the GDP was 5% in the first quarter and fell down to 4.5% in the second quarter. With these uh, amendments, definitely the mood of the investment community, uh, community will definitely improve. And I feel with the additional investments by the investment community, <coughs> the economy may come back onto the track. When you look into the revenues, the 69% of the re revenue is collected from 29% of the companies. All these companies which were paying more than 25% of tax will come down to 25.17. When it comes to 25.17, they will be on par with countries like China, USA, and Canada. And this 25.17 slab is definitely much less than the uh, taxes, taxes uh, paid by country in countries like Australia, uh, South Africa, New Zealand, Mexico and Brazil also. I, I give a suggestion to the Honorable Finance Minister, not only by, by maybe reducing the taxation, we, can de we should definitely advertise so that the investors will come and invest in this country. Along with this, the Finance Minister also has facilitated some startups and also has promised to infuse capital into the PSUs. These are definitely good moves and they are positive steps and definitely attract some job opportunities to the youth of this country. I need a clarification from the Honorable Finance Minister. As per the recapitalization plan, our PSUs were supposed to collect 1.1 lakh crores from the market. I would want to know from the Honorable Finance Minister how much of this was collected and how much of the infused capital which was promised has already been infused. And the Finance Minister said that these amendments will come into force from 1-4-2020. So there, I feel that it is a very little time to implement all these things. With your permission, I would want to give one more a small suggestion, which is a very well-known suggestion and which is suggested by most of the members also. When it comes to the personal income tax slabs, I would want the finance minister to ease on these things and also see that the threshold also is increased because crores of uh, people are paying the taxes and the liquidity will definitely increase in the hands of these crores of people, which will, which will definitely come into spending and maybe the economy may be revised. When it comes to the domestic manufacturing companies, the Honorable Finance Minister has suggested that the tax section will come down to 15% plus the surcharges and also the cess also of 4%. Everything accounting to 17.16, which is definitely a good move. But with a rider, she said that these companies should come into production maximum by March 31st, 2023. Net effect is these companies are being given only three and a half years of time from commencement. I feel it is very short time. Suppose if she extends this uh, three and a half years of time to five years, the, most of the companies may come into this lab and it may revise the economy also. I read in some newspaper that uh, the Credit Suisse report, which has said that the China's growth is stalled, whereas India's growth is still growing. I would want the finance minister to please take the advantage of this classification and make uh, and, uh, and attract the investors also. And the final point is, we all know that the net revenue loss will be 1.45 lakh crores with these amendments, which is accounting to 5.2% of the government uh, of India's revenue for the year 2017-18. If everything is placed as planned, the fiscal deficit also may go up from 3.3 to 4%. In spite then, I feel this is definitely a good move for the investors to come into this country and to improve the employment also. I would want to know from the Honorable Finance Minister how long this, uh, this uh, taxation slab will continue and for how many years and is it really attractive only, only to the big players or the small players also will be advantaged. When it comes to GST, we had some uh, problems in the implementation of GST. I would want to know the finance, from the Finance Minister when these taxation laws are, amendment are implemented, they should sail smoothly and the house should be updated for any course correction. With these few points, in spite of revenue loss of 1.4 lakh crores, I feel that such amendments have to come into force. Thank you for giving me this opportunity.